A pivotal piece of workplace equipment is flawed, says Michael Craigs, the president and CEO of Saskatoon-based Ergo Canada. Most keyboards don't accommodate proper posture, he says, and it can lead to all sorts of problems. So if you're spending all day at the computer, your keyboard is really your most important tool. And there's flaws with a traditional conventional keyboard. If you take a conventional keyboard and look at what people are doing uh, when they're working on it, typically they have to articulate their hands and twist them in. And um, what that does is it causes a, a twist or a bend, which is called ulnar deviation in their wrist. And that pinching actually compresses the carpal tunnel, pinches the median nerve, and can lead to carpal tunnel syndrome and tendonitis. In addition, when you're doing this, your elbows bow outward, which means you've got elbow abduction. You pinch your shoulder and actually can go all the way into your back. On top of that, when you're reaching for the mouse, you're reaching way off to the right. So you have a non-neutral posture when you're working on the keyboard, a non-neutral posture when you're working on the mouse. You're never actually in a relaxed positioning of your hands and wrists. So doing this all day long and they're not thinking about the fact they're in these awkward non-neutral postures. Now they may not develop an injury instantaneously but it affects their productivity, it affects their mood, it affects their willingness to <clears throat> take on new jobs and new tasks and so forth and if you don't address that as an employer um, you're, you're dealing with an unhappy staff and no one really wants to do that. So what manufacturers have done is come up with alternative designs to keyboards that have somehow um, improved or addressed some of these risk factors. So one of the most common uh, ways of addressing the deficiencies in the keyboard is to simply make it a bit smaller. This keyboard is called the Evoluent Full Featured Compact Keyboard. On some keyboards that you see that are compact, some of the keys are smaller than normal and makes it difficult for an adult to actually type on it. This keyboard, all the keys are normal size, normal spacing. Your shift key is large, your tab key is one and a half and so forth. But the key thing about this keyboard is now instead of having to reach over your arrow key area and your um, numeric keypad area to get to your mouse, your mouse can be located immediately proximate to the keyboard. And by not having an overextension when reaching for the mouse, you're achieving the goal of reducing that reach and causing odd, awkward twisting when reaching for the mouse. So this keyboard here is called the Kinesis Freestyle 2 keyboard. It represents one of the most advanced ergonomic keyboards on the market today. The reason being that it is a convertible modular keyboard. So rather than having one configuration that has to work at all times, as your work needs throughout the day change, you can rearrange and change this keyboard as required. Unlike a traditional keyboard, which would be together like this, you can physically separate the sections of this keyboard to take into account your shoulder width. Now when working on this keyboard, you can come at it with a straighter angle. You're not going to be twisting your wrist as much as you would as if you're in the, in, in the internal section. And again, you're still achieving the goals of reducing the reach to the mouse because the mouse is immediately to the right of the keyboard. If you are a numeric key uh, a person that requires a 10 key, you can put your numeric keypad immediately to the other side of the keyboard. Another innovative feature of this keyboard is different people require different angles of support. This keyboard has a tenting accessory that will tent the keyboard at a 15, 10, or 5 degree angle. By tenting the keyboard, the thumbs up posture has been shown to reduce strain in the wrist and the forearm. Um, if you have tennis elbow, you'll be very familiar with this because if you have a handshake position or closer to a handshake position as opposed to a palm down position, you will have relief in your elbow. And that's what this the idea of tenting up the keyboard, having a thumbs up posture. So it reduces the tension in the, in the elbow.